back to Retro Pop 99. Uh, I'm still Jamie. He's still Trevor. Trevor, you've been reading up. You're, you're a bigger fan of the retro scene than I am. Uh, in fact, you've got pretty much every retro console I can think of or that I know of. Yep. So you came across a way to clean up the picture, or actually to use CRT monitors for your Sega Genesis machine, right? Yeah, the Analog Mega SG and the Analog Super NT, um, they're going to be coming out in February of 2020 with a, an Analog DAC. So what that DAC refers to is a digital to analog converter. Now, you know, some people may think, well, I've got an HDMI system. Why do I even need this? And really for two reasons. Number one, maybe you want the original experience of playing it on a, a CRT television with the scan lines in 4 by 3 mode and not 16.9. That's one reason. Uh, you know, another popular reason is going to be, let's say you've got old light gun games for the Super Nintendo system made by Analog and the Genesis. You know, if you've got a, a Lethal Enforcers game or, you know, that old, blue revolver they had it with it so you know you need to use those obviously on a crt monitor so you know that's what it's really primarily for i think um you know i also think if you uh want to use the 32x i also read you're going to be able to use with the analog mega sg which you couldn't previously it's going to take some type of adapter to do it but you know that will the 32x will not output over hdmi you'll need to have the dac also so you know, it's it's going to be very important uh, to have that. It's going to be about eighty bucks. So, you know, I'm excited for it because I, you know, I'm a fan of light gun stuff. I think it's kind of a, a dying thing that people years from now will never really know existed. You know, so being able to go retro, old school, will be kind of fun. Right. Well, I guess if you've invested that kind of money in the the console itself, you're going to want to want it to look its best, I guess. And if you're going to forage for a CRT monitor, you might as well spend the extra 80 bucks or so to get this device as well uh, and you can still get crt tvs on ebay you know they go there for depending on the size you know 50 to 100 bucks or more um you know obviously then you gotta have somewhere to put those big bulky bohemas so you know it's one of those things but you know i still i miss the days i'd love to be able to just fire up you know uh like you know, like i said lethal enforcers you know think of some of those old old gun games you know you go back to so i'd love to be able to you know, play some of those in this time when, you know, you just, the TVs nowadays don't have them. I mean, even if you get into the current gen systems, uh, they don't do them. Uh, I think PS3 was the last one that you could get a time crisis for, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, that was the last system, but I mean, really, that's kind of gone away. So, I mean, it's just kind of nice to be able to play some of that older stuff, I think. So, would you say this is more of a niche product again? I mean, for the hardcore, hardcore retro fan? I think so. I think analog stuff is definitely more of a niche product, um, you know, but it's, you're paying for quality. You're not paying for some cheap knockoff clone system. These analog systems are FPGA consoles, which means field, field programmable chips. So, you know, it's like you're playing it on original hardware, basically. So, hmm. you know, definitely you're, you're paying for quality. So, what would you say, let's say I wanted to get the Sega, what's it called? The the analog mega SG. The mega SG. And I wanted to trick it out with, you know, I wanted to look as good as it looked 20, 30 years ago. How much are we talking about as far as money? Well, the analog mega, you know, you've got the analog mega SG, I think runs for about 190 bucks. You know, the DAC is going to be about 80. Um, and then if you want to get stuff like the Sega CD and 32X, um, you know, you'd have to go on eBay and, you know, those will probably run you, you know, hundred bucks each right now minimum. So you know you can definitely get into four hundred bucks, and that's not even counting if you want to get like an EverDrive cartridge. So you know you might be all in for five hundred now or more. But you know, and that sounds like a ton. Think about it, you can play everything off of the, you know, the EverDrive cartridge though. So too. So you know, it's just all depends. You know how you want to spend your gaming dollar. You know, I guess it depends on your level of. Uh nicheness i guess <laughs> you know i look at some of these new systems like i said before i miss the days of just turning on a system and you just play the game right nowadays you turn on the system you have to download a, a 50 gigabyte day one patch and then you know you get into it and it's got load times like i love gta 5 but i get so irritated when i turn it on and i gotta wait 10 minutes for everything to load up it's just well yeah and that's what the current gen systems though but i don't know i i just think it's 
again, it's not it's not me, not my money buying the merchandise that we're talking about here. I, I, it's great, um, but when I can play these same games on my tablet or PC or uh, a Wii U or uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, it's just hard to justify five hundred bucks for a Jesus. Yeah. I might play. I might play once a month or once a quarter. You know what I mean? Uh, it depends how much you play. play. I mean, I've had my, I've had some of these retro systems, and I don't play them a ton. I've got a Nintendo sixty four that I bought the Super sixty four HDMI adapter. You know, I don't play it a ton, but it's nice if you want to turn it on and play WWF No Mercy or Super Mario sixty four Goldeneye. I've got it. So. Because the day is going to come down the road where you can't get it, you know? Yeah, but you still have, so, the, you still have the foul. So it just depends. You know, the day is going to come, just like we talked about with the Wii U. They didn't sell a lot of them. You know, there's yeah. not a lot of 32Xs out there. The day's going to come where you can't buy those systems or get the product anymore. Well, you know what? I, I will say this. It's good to know that if you have disposable income, you have options. Mm -hmm. You have options. So you're not without you know, your ability to, to trick it out as much as you can or as much as you want. So yeah. there's nothing wrong with that, I guess. If you had the money, we'll go, we'll go for it, I guess. Definitely. Uh, so when is it going to be released? Do you have a release date yet for the device? I think um, Analog's on their website, and I also saw in the email, I believe, too, February of 2020. And they're pretty good with release dates. I get kind of annoyed they do charge your card now, like when I've got their past systems I pre-ordered. But, um, you know, they're pretty good with release dates. I have not seen or remember them pushing stuff back. When they have that date, I think it really just comes down to, you know, they got to ramp up and, you know, the whole economy of scale and mass production. So right now, got it's in a prototype it, form? What's that? Right now, it's just in a prototype form? Um, yeah, the prototype, you know, you can look and see stuff on Twitter from, I've read stuff from Smoke Monster and, you know, others that have talked about this thing coming out. And, um, you know, it, it's in prototype, but, you know, they're obviously got to mass produce it, too. But I've seen so far, it's not even a housing unit. It's not even housed yet. It's just yeah. the card itself. So, yeah, it's coming along. February's around the corner, believe it or not. It's only what mm -hmm. it's away. Um, so, you know, it'll be here before you know it. Um, yeah. Anything else you can add about the device, Trevor? No, nothing at this time. You know, we'll add more as time comes, but um, I'm excited for it. Yeah, maybe look for some screenshots later on. Or if I can find some, I'll include it with the video. Uh, so you guys can check out the pictures and see what it looks like. Uh, but Google it as well. You can find it on Google pretty easily. What should, yeah. they, what should they look for on Google if they're trying to find themselves? What's that? If they want to find it on Google, what do they look for? And if they want to find themselves, what do they look for? I mean, really, just um, if you go type in Analog DAC, D A C, um, you should be able to find plenty of info about it now that they've released stuff on it as far as the date. Cool. All right. Well, that'll do it for this one. It's a quick one, guys, just to get you up to speed with the new hardware coming out for more emulation, right? <laughs> yep. Let's make it as good as we can, I guess. Um, that is it for now. We'll be back in a couple of days. I'll probably be back tomorrow with some more content for you guys. Uh, we have a few more things we want to go over. So until then, if you like the videos like we're doing, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Um, tell your friends about us as well. Give us a follow. And we'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Thanks.